What's up guys, this is Gamble Goblin, and welcome back to another quest guide. So today we're doing the new Gower quest, and the starting location is just southeast of the Varok Lodestone. To start the quest you'll need 34 quest points, and if you're a lower level you'll probably need a little bit of food. If you max combat then bring a little bit of food just in case, but you probably won't need any. So once you're ready, in this room you'll see three NPCs, speak to any one of them, and just spam through the chat. Click option one. And then accept the quest. And obviously please keep in mind that I've done this quest guide on day of release, so there wasn't much guidance for me. So that's why there's a lot of cuts and stuff in the video. Once you've gone through all of their chat, you'll need to search around the farm for some items that we need. So head through this door and there'll be some crates. So just search the crate there and you'll find a pure essence. Then if you head outside, you can search these barrels here. And then that'll give you another item that we need a Brussels sprout. Then you're going to want to uh, search this scarecrow just to your west. But when, what you want to do now is use the Brussels sprout on the item we've just got from that scarecrow. And then you'll get um, a Barassican amulet unstrung. So to string it, what you want to do is head to the east where all the rats are and there will be a food trough. So you just want to search that. And then you'll receive some roots. So you want to head to any spinning wheel now. Uh, so I went to Lumbridge and just went upstairs to that spinning wheel. So once you do that, you'll receive a broccoli string. So go ahead and use that on your unstrung brassican amulet and then you'll receive the strung brassican amulet. And then you can head on back to the farm. So just teleport to Varrock and then you can head southeast. Before you get there though, you can right click on your pure essence and flip it. And then you'll discover it's actually a life rune. So then use the life rune on your brass canambula and you can now wear it. So once it's equipped, talk to this cabbage here and just spam through the chat. And then you can speak to Andrew in the farmhouse. So you spam through his chat as well. And click anything here, it doesn't matter. And you'll receive four pink party hats. So once you've got the party hats, head back down to the cabbage and speak to him. and you'll hand over the four party hats. So once he appears in your inventory, you want to speak to Andrew again in the farmhouse. 
and just spam through his chat. And then he should give you a disk of returning. So once you've got that disk of returning, head up to Falador and we're going to be going to the Dwarven Mines. So just head up to your northeast. And then you can head down the ladder just here. Once you've gone down the ladder, go down to your southwest. And once you're on this spot here, scan with your uh, disk of returning. And then you'll get a little bit of a cutscene and you'll end up in a dark room. So once you're here, you should see that you could search a table. So do that and then also look under it and then you'll receive a rock and an orange. So firstly, you want to use your rock on the wall, which is on the top left of the screen and once you've done that that will unlock something so next you want to eat an orange to receive a small key and you want to use that small key on the bumpy wall just to the right of the screen And then once you do that, you should receive a tinder box. So next you want to use the tinder box on the scary wispy thing, which is just on the top right of the screen. And once you do that, it will drop a skull, so pick that up. And you can talk to the skull if you want. And after you've done that, use the skull on the unusual shape just to the left of the screen and then you'll see a doorway so just go through that once you're here speak to the guy sitting on the chair and just spam through the chat Click option one and then option two. So once you're here, straight ahead of you will be a spider. So just speak to him on the stage and click option one and just keep spamming through the chat and then click option 2. So once you've spoken to him you'll need to speak to three NPCs. The first one is this guy here just up to your north west called Lucian and once you're speaking to him click option 2 and spam through the chat. And then at this point you can exit the conversation. You don't need to click option one.
So once you're done speaking to him, you can then speak to the Chaos Elemental just down to yourself. And then click option two again. Option one. And then the last person you want to speak to is Thor. And he's just to your west, to your northwest. Or Thok, not Thor. And then click option two, as usual. And then that's that bit done. So once you've done that, head through the central bank portal, which is on the northern wall, and then speak to the NPC behind the desk here. And just keep spamming through the chat. Once it says you found one of the problems, you can then head down to the west. And then speak to the guy just outside the vault. And then check the vault. And then you'll find all of the problems. So once you've done that, you can now exit. So once you've left the bank, you want to speak to Romeo, who is along the southern wall. And once you're speaking to him, you want to click option two and just spam through the chat. And then click option one. Once you're done speaking to him, speak to this penguin just to the north and click option two. And then you're going to want to speak to Guthix, who's just to the east of that penguin and click option two for him as well and just spam through the chat. And then just to the west of Guthix, there'll be two little guys sitting on stools, one called Tim, so just speak to him and click option three. And then once you're done speaking to them, you're going to want to go to one of the bartenders and get five cups of tea from them. And then once you've got all five cups of tea, there'll be some environment artists just standing around, around the bar. So you want to give them like all of the cups of tea. So there'll be five different ones. You want to give five cups of tea to each one.
So once you've done that, head back to Tim and talk to him again. And tell him that you've given them all tea. And then he'll be recruited to your team. You then want to head over to where all the God Wars dungeon bosses are. So you've got Nex, Bandos, and whatever, and just talk to all of them. And then they'll give you pieces of romantic advice. So you need to speak to all five of them to get all five pieces of advice. Then once you've got all of them, you can then speak to Romeo and then he'll be recruited for your team. So Romeo is just to the east. So once you've done that, on the northern side, there'll be some cabbages sitting at a table. So just talk to them. And then once you've done that, speak to Guthix again, who's just to the south of those cabbages, and then you'll recruit him to the team as well. Click off from one. And that's job done. So once you've got all team members, you can go into the wise old man's bank again. So head through the central bank portal on the northern wall. And once you're in here, speak to the NPC behind the desk again. And then you'll introduce her to Romeo, and then you'll distract her, and she'll teleport off with Romeo. So now head down to your west, and speak to the NPC in front of the vault. And then click option 1, and then Guffix will distract him as well, and then they'll teleport off. Once you've done that, click on the vault. And then just wait a second and then they'll open it for you so go through the vault and click on the chest in the center and just spam through the chat and then the chest will open So once the chest is open, just search it and you'll receive the first fragment. So once you've got that fragment, head back, up, back out of the vault and go back out of the bank. And once you're out of here, head down to your south and go to the life altar portal and then you can head through there. And you can then use your fragment on the altar. So once you've done that, you can now leave. So just exit the portal. And then you can head just to your east, and there'll be another portal next to it. The Grand Exchange Maintenance Room, so just head through there. And then this is the part where there'll be a puzzle that you have to solve. 
So in the middle of the room, there'll be a little thing that you want to click on to fix the pipes. So essentially, you just need to solve this puzzle. So on the top right of the screen is the solved version of the puzzle. So you can just copy that. You can pause the video now and just copy that as I'm going to speed through this part of the video. So once you receive your second fragment for the life altar, you can now exit. And then just head to the life altar, which is literally just to the west. So we just head through there. And then you can use your second fragment on the altar. Once you've done that, you can exit again. So now you want to head directly to the north. And there'll be another portal here. The beta room portal. Head through there. And then you can talk to Max. So just spam through his chat. So you want to click option 2. Keep spamming through the chat. And then click option 2 again. Once you've done that, just to your west, there will be a door on the northern wall, so just head through there. And then head up to the north and just stand on one of these mats. And then essentially all you have to do is copy what the guy's doing at the front until that green bar at the top goes all the way to the right. So once you've achieved 99 riding, you can then just exit the room, you don't have to speak to Max. So just go ahead and exit the room. And then down to the west there'll be another door on the southern wall, so just head through there. And for this part, you're going to need to unequip your weapons so that both of your hands are free. So go ahead and do that, and then you can embark. So essentially what you want to do here is just fire at all of the people on here, and that will make the green bar go up. 
You can also search these little whirlpool things or these little bubbles and that will also make it go up a little bit as well. So once you've achieved 99 sailing, you can then disembark and head out the door. Keep heading down to your west and on the northern wall there will be another door that you can go through. And then this room is for bank standing. So basically you just need to keep standing in the bank. Every so often your character will try and move outside. So you just have to keep clicking inside the bank every time that happens. And then eventually the green bar will just keep going up. And then once you've achieved 99 bank standing, head down to yourself and head out the room. And then you can head up to the east. And then you want to speak to Max again. Who will give you the final fragment. So just spam through his chat. And then once you've got the fragment, you can leave. Once you're here, head down to your south again, and you can go to the life altar portal. And then you just want to add the final fragment onto the altar, and you'll get a cutscene. So just keep spamming through the chat. And then click option 4. And then you want to just fight him. You'll have to kill him three times. But as I said at the beginning, you probably won't need any food if you're maxed. I didn't use any food. But if you are a lower level, I would recommend bring in plenty of food so that you can take him down so 
So once you've killed him three times, you'll get a cutscene. And then the Gower brothers will come to the rescue. So once the Gower brothers are here, essentially you just need to kill the boss another three times. So at this point it will be quest complete, so congratulations. So just keep spamming through the chat. So the rewards for completing this quest are 1 quest point, 15 coins, Boresica Prime Godsell Cosmetic Override, a Cabbage Mansa Outfit Override, a Retro Login Home Teleport Animation, Crispy the Cabbage Follower Pet, uh, a Black Knight Titan Model Toggle in the BTS Pub, and two Treasure Hunter Keys. So if you did enjoy this quest guide and it did help you out, please leave a like and check out my other guides on my channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.